Hi everyone, welcome back to Nine Tail Hobbies. This one's gonna be a quick and dirty video. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick kit bash, very basic, you know, just to show people that maybe haven't done it before how easy it can be, that it shouldn't be this daunting task. So I've just got a basic Stargrave set, which is nice and modular. Get your basic bodies, your arms, your heads, everything. Then I've got a couple of 3D prints as well. Backpacks, torsos, arms, various bits from Star Wars, and everything. So I think what I'm going to do is try to make uh, something for the Doomed. Uh, one of the factions out of that, I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. But yeah, let's see what we can come up with. This is going to be a super fast project and it's going to be on the fly so if the audio and everything's a little weird i apologize but uh let's get right into it so we're going to start off looking at our various torso options because this is what everything is based on uh, these are from knuckle bones these are from golden dragon and then we've got the stargrave stuff north star uh, i did do a quick comparison and the knuckle bones are a little bit out of scale so unfortunately as cool as these are we are going to have to save them for our last war project but these torsos do go really well on the stargrave so i think that could be a cool uh, mix especially if we do something where it looks like uh, there's a surcoat or something cut it off right at the waist but this one right here is going to be a good option. And I'll kind of clean everything up as I go along just so I know what has been done and what hasn't. Anything that's been taken off, the sprue is ready to go. So these are going to be a mixture of resin and plastic. So we are going to have to use super glue for these I do we want to just kind of look and measure things out both of these have belts so we can either take a clipper and clip it but I've got these little saws that fit on an exacto blade I think that's where we're gonna start cut that off trim it down Smooth this out so we'll have a good solid connection point. And to compare, put it on. Smooth this out a bit more because where this is going to be a quick project, we're not going to be using green stuff or anything. So, so it may be a little bit of work on the front end, but it'll end up coming out all right so ended up going with a torso uh, without a head change that out there is going to be a small little gap in the back but i think we can cover that up with a uh, pouch quick note if you are going to cut or trim resin uh, do wear a mask because you do not want that in your lungs even a little bit it's no good Okay, so after some after some testing and some fitting, our guy is starting to take shape. Uh, we've got a head that the neck part, next ball, is going to be taking trim down. And then we got some Star Wars arms. I decided that this guy, I was trying out a bunch of different things. And I really liked these, kind of this cyborg gunslinger type deal. And I mean... The arms are a bit oversized, but I, I actually like that aesthetically. It's, you know, why, if this dude's like a scrapper or something, why are his arms going to fit perfectly onto his body? And then we've got a backpack from Golden Dragon as well. Kind of give him that survivalist type feel. I think this dude is going to be some type of uh, mercenary gunslinger or um, wasteland survivor so if we're gonna do that we also need some uh, 
holsters for his guns. So we've got that one. And then we've got this one that has a gun in it. So we're gonna fix that out. And then I think he needs some ammo pouches. Uh, there is a good one. There's a couple of good ones, but I like this one that's got the exposed bullets. And we don't wanna, you know, just load him down with a ton of crap, but we wanna be able to generate a story. So I'm gonna take the little holster that's got the gun in it. Super simple. Trim that off. And it's all about just finding pieces, just picking and, and adding and taking away and trying things and seeing what works and what doesn't. Uh, this is 3D printed. This is from Knucklebones. The ball socket is just a hair too big. I would saw it, but I think it'll break just fine. There we go. Sometimes if you just take it easy on 3D prints, they'll come off all right. There we go. All right, always do the head orientation last. Let's get his backpack on. And this is just cheap dollar store super glue gel. And you can use activator, but I find that it makes the bond kind of brittle. Kit bashing especially this style you i know a lot of people are hesitant to give it a try but as you can see sometimes just bashing things around just seeing what fits what doesn't can be a whole lot of fun got extra kits sitting around which took me a while to kind of accumulate i know not everybody does i actually bought a whole bunch of 3d prints specifically for just being able to bash stuff that's a pretty cool silhouette I think I know his gun up here is obstructing his face but I think that it works out pretty well maybe maybe drop it down just a bit no I think up where it was at was better. And it's okay to for it to not look perfect the first time. It wasn't gonna hold anyway. So a quick kit bash just needs a quick paint job. A lot of this is just going to be, I'm gonna keep it what people like to call painterly. Um, large brush strokes, I'm gonna just use a lot of speed paints, uh, set down some quick values on everything. We're just going to kind of see how it goes. I'm not too worried about this being an amazing paint job. I want to try some new things. Uh, I want to go a little grimdark, maybe. I've never painted that way before. The paints are not important. The This exercise is what's important. A lot of this is not going to be just solidly base coated. I'm going to kind of play around with some value painting. There's going to be a lot of wet blending. I'm not going to worry about brush strokes. And we're just going to kind of see how it turns out. This is a... Uh, if anyone is like me and has a problem with letting go, then something like this could be good for you. Don't have a ton of time invested in values. I'm kind of playing around 
throwing in some artificial shadows. step we're gonna come in and do a quick dry brush uh, this is just the top of my wet palette and just the tiniest bit of moisture if you really want to see an amazing way to dry brush go over to artist opus Byron I think he's an actual wizard and the better you prep it the more abusive you can just be with your mini so we got our oil paint all dry Looks pretty cool. And then I'm just going to come in with our dry brush and do it in a circular motion. <laughs> 